Lots of people gave me great feedback and suggestions after my last video on this subject. Thank you. So I decided to keep trying. Many people suggested I motorize the setup and I decided to do that in case the stop start of rolling it by hand was contributing to the kinking of the metal. Now some people suggested I use the horses for the power but setting up a horse gin would be a major project in itself. Plus I need to be able to reverse the drive over and over and I'm not sure how I do that with horses. Anyway I went with a hoist motor because it is already reversible and geared right down. I removed all the wire cabling that came with it and made a sprocket for it instead. I was pleased that I could find a simple way to mount it to my frame. But it didn't work. It just wasn't powerful enough. So I made another sprocket to gear it further down. And getting that sprocket to fit the chain was quite tricky. But it works well now. And it didn't work either. The pressures involved were just too high for this little motor. Meanwhile, I ordered some soft feed steel sheets because lots of people explained that the normal stuff has too much tensile strength, which was new to me, but uh, very interesting and I'm sure they were right. Anyway, weeks went by and eventually I was able to collect a few sheets from the factory and they didn't work either. <laughs> Man, I decided that if flat sheet was easy to bend and corrugated sheet was hard to bend, then semi-corrugated sheet might be somewhere in the middle. Makes sense, doesn't it? So I drew another template for my copy lathe and I turned down my rollers so the bumps were further apart but not as high. And that one didn't work either. All I managed to do was make another mangalator. It mangles corrugated iron sheets into a horrible mess. If ever you need one of those, just let me know. So I gave up then, but I couldn't figure out what I was doing wrong. So it kept nagging at me. And when I checked, I found I'd made a mistake in my drawing. It was only a millimetre per curve, but added together over the length of the roller, it meant that the sheet could never sit comfortably in position. So I drew another template and I turned down the rollers again. By now, they're getting fairly narrow. I just don't know if that's important or not. And I put them back on the frame and I tried again. And again it failed. So I took it apart again and made new, smaller sprockets so I could put the bottom rollers closer together just in case that was the problem. But it wasn't the problem because uh, it still wouldn't work. Whew, 
Ooh, it's been a long and exhausting road. And I gave up again. But then, <laughs> then I thought I'd try the original type of corrugated iron sheet again, just so that I can say I've tried everything I can think of. And it turns out that it was softer than the supposedly soft feed stuff I was sold. I think the guys in the factory don't know what they were talking about. So here's today's attempt. I cut down the sheet and squashed it a bit and fed it into the rollers and ran it back and forth a few times to set the new profile. And then I tightened the top roller to roll the sheet and that didn't work either. So, <laughs> I really don't know what the problem is now. And it really is time to abandon this project. Luckily all the parts are reusable, or most of them, but I'll never get back the time I put in. And just to head off more comments, I can't find a single company in these islands that will roll the shape I want, a U shape. And no one seems to be able to supply the steel that I need either seems to only exist in Australia and yes I could use a flat sheet but it wouldn't be strong enough on the flat and it wouldn't look right but apart from those things if you have any more good ideas for me please write them down in the comments thank you